Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Melanie and I'm here to go over the March 2024 Beauty Heroes box. This box features the brand True Botanicals and it features three different products. They are the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm, the Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum, and the At Home Facialist Peel. So I'm just going to briefly tell you about each one and tell you about my um, thoughts on using the box this month. So the Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm is pretty big. It's 3.4 ounces and that retails for $48 at Beauty Heroes. And you can see there like how much I used it and what it looks like and stuff. Um, I like the smell of it, I guess. I mean, I'm not super um, familiar with the smell of turmeric, but I like, it kind of has like a peppery, citrusy kind of smell to me. And I like it. Um, the balm consistency, I'm probably not getting a huge, uh, let's go like this. There you go. Then you can kind of get an understanding of what the consistency looks like. Um, so it's, uh, it's not like, it's kind of juicy, I think. Um, it's not like super hard and dry, but it's a little bit juicy of a balm. And you just put it in like that on your face and rub it in and you know it works it works for me for makeup removal and everything and sunscreen removal and stuff um yeah it has a nice scent unique I think so this is meant to be like a four-in-one cleanser it's supposed to purify exfoliate protect and strengthen skin they say it builds into a milky lather um I didn't really notice that but I there was times I used it in the shower where I put on like rub it into my face before I got in the shower. So I didn't notice then if it turned milky. Um, so yeah, I didn't really notice the milky lather, but it's just sort of like the way I was washing my face. I think I did it too in front of the mirror and, but I don't, I don't know that I like got my hands wet and like suds or like went like that. I think I was like using, um, like a facial, not like a face cloth, but like a pad kind of thing that I used to wash my face sometimes. Um, so I don't know if I ever got the milky lather going on. But um, it has lactic and az azelaic acids, and it says the warming roots um, from ginger and turmeric uh, lend to the balm's vibrant yellow color and the energizing aroma. The superpower ingredients are turmeric, ginger root, yucca extract, cucumber seed oil, lactic acid, and az azelaic acid. So this is a nice um, cleansing balm. Like I said, I like the consistency of it. I like the smell of it. Um, I think overall though, I don't think that a balm is my favorite way to cleanse. I think that I would fall most into the oil category for cleansing. Um, I don't know, balms just tend to not be like my favorite modality for cleansing. Um, that being said, I enjoyed it. Um, it was nice. I don't know that it's, I mean, it's pretty, <clears throat> in my opinion, for the 3.4 ounces for this size for $48, I thought that was pretty um, reasonable for like this level of, you know, skincare, like not drugstore sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a nice bomb. I don't know if I would really repurchase on my own. Um, it didn't really do anything like wild for me. Um, uh, I just thought it was fine. And, um, yeah, so that's sort of where I'm at with that. Um, I'll move on to the next one. Okay. So the next one is the Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum, and that is 30 milliliters for $90. And so this was featured before in a way in a Beauty Heroes box in the, in the, in the past. Um, it was this True Botanicals Phyto Retinol Vitamin A Sleep Mask. Now this is the True Botanicals Phyto, Phyto Retinol Sleep Serum. So this was supposed to be a sleep mask and it still smells nice. And this is, um, I can't tip it too much cause it's like very, um, like liquidy as you can see. And um, I never liked this so much as a um, sleep mask because I felt like it was very like liquidy. Um, so it was interesting, like I've had this for like a year and as you can see, it's still pretty full. I do plan to use it, but you know, my story with products and stuff, um, I have a lot of them, so I'm doing my best to use things. Uh, but I just never really, like it was just so runny, I thought. So I, it just has not been like a favorite. I, I prefer, prefer like a more like decadent kind of cream or something if I'm going to use one of those instead of maybe an oil. Um, 
So the interesting thing about this is they took what was the sleep mask and they added a special peptilum, which is a no novel biopeptide sourced from upcycled cranberry pulp that ups the ante on traditional retinol. So they took this formula and then I don't know if they changed much of it, but they added in this new ingredient and now it's in the form of the sleep serum. And I like it. Um, this is what it looks like. As you can see, and this is not, this is definitely a lot more um, solid. Like, sorry, I put it on a weird spot. It is not runny. It smells different. Both have nice scents. The, I think the sleep mask was a little bit more gentle and this is a bit more scented, like strongly scented, but I like it and it just absorbs right in. Um, so it's fine for a sleep, you know, it's like a nice serum. I like it better as a serum than I did as the mask. Um, it's said to be a smarter way to retinol. Peptilum is clinically proven to work two times harder and better than other forms of retinol. Addressing wrinkle reduction, firmness and cushion, brightness, texture and tone, delivering dramatic results in half the time, sans skin sensitizing side effects that you may get from traditional retinol, which I've never used. Um, so I always think it's interesting when there's like a environmental um, ingredient or like a clean ingredient, or I should say a natural ingredient um, that is supposed to be uh, more effective than retinol. That's, it's hard for me to believe, but that's what they're saying here. They're saying it's a proven to work two times harder and better than other forms of retinol, which is interesting. Um, in that case, why would anyone use retinol? Wouldn't they all use this new ingredient, peptilum? So it says that the world's, this is the world's first skincare product formulated with peptilum. The sleep serum also features the superpower ingredients that the original mask was known for. And they kind of talk about some of them. Primrose, um, they do mention here, Brand ambassador Jessica Chastain claims it changed her skin and 100% of study participants saw a reduction in fine lines and wrinkles. Sounds like an overnight success to us. I like feel like I really could have done without that stuff. I feel like I don't really care who the brand ambassadors are for a brand um, or what they say the product did for their skin. Um, and then this study that they reference, it was... It says the results based on 30 participants using 3D image analysis reviewed by an expert technician and compared to baseline reading. So that's interesting. I think it would be interesting to like read more about it. I thought it would be cool to like get some information through email from Beauty Heroes about these studies and like maybe like pictures from it or more information because um, they give information throughout the month that the product, the products are featured. And I like getting those things like that, like little dabbles of them throughout the month because it keeps me engaged with the products. And it would have been pretty cool to like get some more information about these studies and like what people saw. I think it might intrigue me more. Okay, regarding the serum, like I said, I like it more in this form, much better than this form. It also almost makes me, not that one, it makes me want to take this sleep mask and like pour it into a serum jar and see if I would like it better as like a liquid serum, kind of like how they've changed it. Um, so maybe that's something I'll do in the future. If I get like a, the right kind of pump, you know, like if I got the right kind of bottle that was empty, maybe when I, I have to keep an eye when I finish my last like serums or something, maybe I could decant it and see if it like seemed better that way. Um, yeah, so I like this serum. Um, I'm trying to think what kind of base this serum is. Um, like it's not oil. I'm not exactly sure what kind of base it is, um, but I like it. I like the smell of it. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's nice. Um, I don't know. I don't think I see myself spending $90 for it. Um, but yeah, it's a good serum. That's kind of how I feel about it. And lastly, we have the at home facialist peel, which is 30 milliliters for $65 looks like that. Oh, I almost put my nose right in there. Um, I like the smell of this. Uh, it's kind of subtle. It's like a subtle smell. Um, this is saying get fresh out of a facial skin with this product, the at-home facialist peel, a professional grade treatment featuring four different acids, AHA, BHA, PHA, and THX that exfoliate the skin to reveal a brighter, clearer glass-like glow. And it's a 27% acid blend. And then it has other products that are help helping you, you know, moisturize like aloe leaf juice, rosemary, elippi butters, which helps soothe and nourish the skin, 
provide additional protection from redness and irritation. And then I, they go into um, something about some of the participants of the study saying that their skin texture was smoothed, felt nourished, more hydrated. Some of the same number saw a highly significant improvement in fine lines and wrinkles after just one use. And it says an impressive 100% of participants said their skin was instantly brighter, more clear and radiant. Instant gratification guaranteed. So um, this seems like a very like results driven brand that really prides themselves in results. And you know, I do appreciate that they did studies. Um, but I guess I wouldn't say I'm like super impressed by that stuff. It just seems like a lot with like the studies of 30 people, um, the brand ambassador, overnight success with the sleep serum, um, fresh out of a facial, instant gratification. There's just like all that kind of stuff isn't really super appealing to me. I just sort of like love using products and feeling them and smelling them and experiencing them. And I'm, as you've probably learned, like a lot less focused on results. I mean, you know, I want my skin to not get wrinkly and be nice and everything, but I also know that I'm going to age and I am getting wrinkles or fine lines and it's going to happen more. And I think it's going to continue to be harder the more I see them because I am seeing them more. I'm 39 now. So I think that's happening more. Um, but I guess I'm trying to embrace aging because I do think it's a gift to age. So we'll see if I always feel that way. I mean, I know it's hard to get wrinkles and stuff like, and I'm, I'm probably like only very minimally there. So I'm sure it's going to get harder as time goes on to be so accepting of it, you know? Um, the at-home facialist peel. I liked this. It's, like I said, it smells good. It's like a nice um, consistency, like a gel-like consistency. I did feel tingling um, as I moved around. It wasn't like a, like, I feel like that Lilifox acid glow, it like burns sort of. Like, I still use it sometimes, like once or twice a month or every other week because I'm desperately trying to finish it because it's like two and a half years old at this point. Um, that one like stings my skin. This, like, was a little bit acidic, like, I don't wanna say like sizzly, but like I felt it like zinging a bit, but like it didn't zing or like burn or like hurt my skin the whole 10 minutes it was on. It was more like as I applied it, it was, it was like, you felt like it was active, but not the whole time it was on. Um, I only used it a few times, so I don't have a long history with it along with like all these products. Um, and I didn't notice any like instant results from any of these. Um, I also don't spend like the time to like look at my skin or photograph it beforehand and then photograph it or really look at it after I use these things. So maybe if I spent more time focusing on the possibility of seeing results, maybe I would notice them more. So just like full transparency and disclosure there. I barely ever, if you follow me, like have any results stuff that I've noticed. So that makes me pretty boring, sorry. <laughs> um, so as for the box, I enjoyed using the products, but I wasn't like in love with any of them. Um, I kind of felt that way about True Botanicals all along. I haven't really loved any of their products. I did like the um, vitamin A capsules that came like a year ago or whatever the last True Botanicals box was before this. I did finish all those and I like those. I don't know if I'd purchase them again, um, but I did enjoy them. But otherwise I've been a little bit underwhelmed with True Botanicals. So yeah, I would love to chat with you in the comments below about your thoughts on this box and True Botanicals in general or any of these products. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful, and click the subscribe button so you'll be alerted when the next video comes out. Thank you for watching. Bye.